you heard the announcement from Danny Bell. It's the men's finals of the WPH Top Pro Championship. My name is Dave Vincent, along with Dave Fink from the Midtown Athletic Club of Alaska. Nadia Alvarado versus Dave Chapman. Referee Dave is uh, Danny Bell. Danny's one of the best referees we have. Told me earlier today he loves refing the big matches. Feels like he actually learns a lot watching these players. And he takes it very seriously. There was a questionable serve there, Dave. You're one of the line judges, so how questionable it was. For those of you who don't know, Dave, we have the best vantage point here at the Midtown Alaska Club, and we are also line judges. Nadia Alvarado is the only player to be able to uh, defeat Dave Chapman twice since his return from retirement. He's undefeated against Dave Chapman, scoring Not a point getting the side out there. Nani Jr. certainly would trade those two wins in the last three months. One at the U.S. Open for fifth place, the other in Coeur d'Alene, Idaho for a couple of those national championship losses he's suffered to Dave Chapman in the finals. Most recently, the 2004 USHA Four Wall Nationals. Dave Chapman's last Four Wall Pro Singles title in Portland. That one went tiebreaker at the Multnomah Athletic Club. And so has all of their other matches since Dave Chapman's return. The one in, uh, in uh, the U.S. Open went uh, tiebreaker. The one at uh, the Coeur d'Alene, Idaho, actually was a two-gamer. Dave did not look good in that one. Nani Alvarado won that tournament. That's a nice deep V pass there from Nani Jr. That's the shot Dave Chapman wants right there. He tried to will it in with a little body English after he made that shot. Nadia Alvarado got to these finals by defeating yourself, Dave, uh, in the round of eight, and then he got through Sean Linning in the semifinals. Dave Chapman defeated Danny Bell in the round of eight, and then Luis Moreno in the semis. Nadia's looked extremely good here in this event. Had a slow start in the first game against me, Dave, and since then he's been extremely sharp told me last night that hasn't played one game of singles since the U.S. Open. Actually, he did because he played in the Coeur d'Alene tournament in, no in November. It's just a couple weeks after the U.S. Open. You can tell when Nadi Alvarado is getting a little old. 35, he doesn't remember all of his matches. Question will call there from our referee, Danny Bell. That ball did slide behind Nadi Jr., but don't think it affected the play. Yesterday, Dave Chapman was a master at that. His ceiling game, put it on a display versus Luis Moreno, and then he takes that right-handed fist shot, slides down the left wall there. The reason he hits that ball with a fist, Dave, is because that ball hit the front wall and straightened out, straight down that left side wall. You can't do that with an open hand up against the left side wall. Actually comes over that ball with a fist. One serve zero. A lot of people don't really understand why Nadi Jr. takes that lob serve return and just sort of taps it back down that left. The problem is, Dave, is that when you take that Dave Chapman lob serve to the ceiling, very difficult to keep that ball off the back wall. And once that ball touches the back wall, you're in big trouble. Listen for the score. Two serves zero. This is the first game. Two games to 21, tiebreaker to 11. Caught that ball behind him. Dave Chapman able to put just enough English on that ball You've to seen disrupt Naughty's swing there. What, what type of shot is that that he, he took right there? Does it have a name? We call it the big ball shot, but... Dave has seemed to take that shot more in this tournament than I've seen him do in any other tournament. Well, you know, Dave is getting more and more comfortable with his full repertoire of shots. 
And when he's confident and comfortable with his game, he'll really open it up and Wow, that's a very questionable call from Danny Bell. <laughs> Dave Chapman chattering with the uh, referee. I will not repeat what he said. <laughs> that one was for the fans. Chapman really take Naughty on a tour here. Naughty looks pretty tired already here. Looks like he's he's pulling at his leg. I'm not sure if he's got some some soreness in there, maybe a, a slightly pulled muscle. Looks like it's his left calf, not the one that has the wrap on it on his right side. But that's what Naughty can do even with a bad leg. That's not his favorite shot there in the front court. He faces that front wall. Really an open stance, right-handed kill. Pushes his legs through that shot. Turns his shoulders. Zero serves four. This is for the WPH Top Pro Championship. Last year, it was Sean Lenning who won the title. We've seen Naughty serve so effective throughout this tournament. It's a critical part of his game. Look at that shot from Dave. That ball slides down there. Danny Bell is off to the Miserable start here. A slow start for the referee. <laughs> That's his fourth hinder call, just four points into the match. Dave Chapman held into that shot a little longer to try to force that, that screen call, or at least to disrupt Nadia from his shot. Referee gave it to him. You would have to say that Dave Chapman is Nadia's top nemesis. Should Naughty question that call? I don't think Naughty realized Danny Bell called that a hinder. I think he thought he earned that point there. Naughty's looking for Danny to reverse his call. Actually, Danny can't reverse that call. He called that hinder before Naughty made contact with that shot. There's no N ones in in handball. Nice serve right there from Naughty. There's that power. People right. forget that Dave Chapman is a git artist. He, uh, since his return, is something we haven't talked a lot about, but he can get most of these balls back just as good as anybody. Dave uses his tremendous anticipation. Runs down nearly every ball. Four serve zero. Naughty looks very tight in his legs. He's not bending the way we saw him bending in the first two rounds of this event. Five serve zero, first game. There's a lot of power right there though, Dave. Nice pass there. Nadi Jr. has yet to roll a ball out here in the early stages of this first game. He earned that side out with a nice reverse pass down the left. All of his kill shots have either skipped or been dug out by Dave Chapman. But he still has some power, and if his legs are hurting him, you would think that that power would be missing. Look at that ball, just over the short line. There's a skip. Actually, Dave, I, I don't think the power is going to be that much effective. His legs are tight. It's his ability to get low, right. get down low on that ball. I agree with that call. 
Dave Chapman will not appeal that. He has such a good second serve that he very rarely ever hits short or long. Another great get. You see now not, not with enough burst to pick up that ball. That's not too tough of a pick up there for Nadi Jr. We'll see if he can work his way into this match. Six serve zero. Great shot there from Dave Chapman. For those of you who did watch their fifth place match at the US Open, Dave Chapman took a 14 to zero lead in that first game. It was Dave Chapman that ran out of gas at that point, managed to hold on and win that first game 21-20, losing in very lopsided fashion the second and third games. Now it looks like it's Naughty that's battling some fatigue. Look at this shot right there from Dave Chapman. Where did he come from? And he might get the call from Danny. Let's see. That was remarkable. We don't want to use too many superlatives, Dave, but I might have been the greatest guy I've ever seen. Incredible. Could have very well been called a hinder on that last kill shot. Wow. That's the only way I can ex explain that. Even our cameraman, Jeff Kastner, pulled away from the camera and started clapping on that. I know you've done something well when Jeff Kastner gives you a reaction. Dave calls the two bounce. That's a point for Naughty. Nice back wall kill there from Naughty. Took that ball at about shoulder height. Was able to do enough with it to win the point. One serve seven. Boy, that ball just seemed like it picked up steam after it went over the short line. That's that vintage Nadia Alvarado Jr. serve. <laughs> Two to seven. More for his serve down the right. But we've seen him have a lot of success this week serving down the left. That's three consecutive points for Nadia Jr. If he scores one more, Dave will take a timeout. Is that a guarantee? It's a guarantee. Hmm. I'm so you're going to pay me $1,000 if he doesn't then? $1,000, okay. I'll pay you, yes. Okay. There it is. Here comes the timeout. Dave is going to stall a little longer here. There's the timeout from Dave Chapman. It's a good serve there from Naughty Jr. You see the angle Dave Chapman hits that three-roll return at. Doesn't give Naughty an opportunity to take that ball out of the air. There it is again. Dave seems to be camping on that. Showtime from both of these players. You hear the round of applause for Tracy Davis, who is exiting the building here, getting ready to catch her flight back to New York. And that was the crowd giving her an applause for showing up. Four serve seven. I'm going to call short on that. Surprise Dave Chapman not appealing. Yeah. Naughty not happy with the Lions judges. <laughs> I.E. Me, you. Yeah, that looked really short to me, actually. Looked like it landed before the line, actually. Wow, nice get from Dave. Playing very aggressive up here. Look at that nice re-kill from Dave Chapman. He looks like this is 19, uh, 2004. Very right frustrating the there for Nani Alvaro Jr. Had a big back wall set up there with his right. Tried to slide that ball down the right wall with a little bit of a natural. Didn't get enough natural on it. Had another big setup. Put that ball in the corner right into Dave Chapman's wheelhouse, and he finished it off. Score is seven to four. Dave Chapman is the server of record here. Boy, that big ball hop popped. there from Nadia Alvarado Jr. 
That's, a, that's actually a big side out there for Nani Alvarado Jr. Scored four consecutive points, got himself back into this game, had a very easy opportunity to make it five. Dave Chapman with a nice re-kill. Now Nani Jr. back in the box. Have you noticed that Nani's playing a lot more loose in this tournament? Or at least, you know, the last uh, year or so that we have seen him play. That's a nice shot from Nani in the right corner. But if you notice that he seems to be a little bit more jubile out there on the court, uh, interacting with the crowd. We've seen that at the Jake Plummer event, maybe because they're unranked tournaments, perhaps. Speaking to Nadi, just a couple weeks before this event, he told me he feels like he's really learned how to play this game now. Could have been an avoidable right there. Nadi Jr. made no attempt to get out of the way of that ball. He actually almost leaned into that shot. We've seen Danny make avoidables with with less going on than that. Actually, I believe that if Danny wouldn't have called that quick replay and allowed Dave to swing in and hit Naughty, it would have been an avoidable. That is a short call. I agree with that. Second serve. For those of you who don't know, Dave Vincent feels the need to speak with wow. the server after the appealed serve. <laughs> nice shot there from Naughty Alvaro Jr. Needing only to put his thumb up or down, he feels the need to communicate his, justify his call to the server. The problem with me is I like to get the last word and if they say something to me, I want to say something back. Six serve seven. Six serve seven. <laughs> Make that seven to seven. We've seen so many big runs in this event. Dave Vincent, we've seen Dave Chavin take an early seven nothing lead, Nadi Jr. Now he's rallied to make it 7-all. We saw Luis Moreno take a 12-1 lead and lose 21-13 yesterday to seven, Dave Chapman. It goes to show you, Dave, that with these great players, there's no lead that's insurmountable. All it takes is a, a hot serve and, serve and a good kill shot. You get yourself right back into any match. Nice shot from Nani. Kept it up a little too high. Just pushing Dave Chapman around now. Now he's in the lead. You're right. There is no lead around here that can be held on. In fact, in the women's doubles, it was six to nothing in the tiebreaker when Lisa Fraser Gilmore and Tracy Davis came back to go ahead nine to six. Eight serve seven. It's happening in every bracket. Eight serve seven. The lead now to Nani Alvarado. Look at that hop. It's a wicked reverse. Or as Nadi says, my, my natural is a reverse. Nice shot there from Nadi. Dave Chapman is not going to win this match if he decides to stay down low with Nadi Alvarado. Nadi right now is putting most of those shots away. Eight serve seven. Close to a screen. That's the second time here in the last three points. Nadi's had an easy setup in that left corner and left it up. Dave is just controlling that front court right there. Dave said, you made me dive for that ball. Playing all that close. Dave has actually already seen eight hinder calls thus far early in this first game. Chapman actually asking Danny to call a timeout eight. on Nadi Alvarado. Eight serve seven. seven. Nadi, for some reason, left the court there during that towel, towel timeout. Oh, and he skips the ball in dead center. That's a very tough shot there from Nadi Alvarado Jr. That would have been a back wall setup. Looked to conserve his energy a little bit there and pick up a quick one there. Seven serves eight. This is the first game. Already very entertaining for the crowd. What's so great about this crowd, Davis? When you get down, they, they support you. They want you to come back. They want to see a great match. So if you found yourself down seven or eight nothing, you've got 
200 Alaskans behind you. You're right, they're rooting for the underdog here. The under sled dog, I should say. The Iditarod sled races kicked off yesterday right here in downtown Anchorage. You saw, you saw a little bit of that action, some of the dogs. Actually, I did. The, the mushers were out yesterday. I heard Sarah Palin was in town. Sarah Palin, a good friend of my host Nine this week, Jim seven. Arlington, said he judged one of the beauty pageants that she won. Hmm. Surprised we didn't see Naughty shoot that ball straight down the right. Wow. Dave Chapman just flubbing that left hand ball that right there. Doesn't get his feet That's in the right position. The score is 10 7, one minute. Resuming play. Maddie Alvarado serving. The score is 10 plays 7. Good call there from Danny Bell. That was an easy call. If Naughty saw that on replay, he would know what Danny saw. Naughty looking up here for. Naughty now looks at Danny and says, approval. "Good call. Good call." Now, now Dave doing, is this the eliminator or the dominator serve? What's the name of that serve right there that Dave was doing? I've, actually, I've always called that the cross court lob, the underhand cross court lob. Dave Chapman may have a different name for it, I'm not sure, I know. Emmett Bichotte calls that the mirage serve. Nye Jr. nearly putting that ball on the ground. He does that a lot. That's a shot Dave Chapman actually invented. I've never seen anyone hit that shot before Dave Chapman. We've seen a lot of people hit it since. We see Paul Brady use that shot quite a bit. Dave Chapman actually sticking his rear end up against that left side wall so he can take that ball off the back wall with his right hand as it hits the back wall and left side wall. It's I kind of a I, it's James kind of a Comstock type of uh, back wall shot. Pin but yourself James against Comstock the left wall. James doesn't have a left arm. That's right. That's why he uses his right. I see Tony Healy and Paul Brady both doing it a lot. Sean Lenning does it uh, every now and then, but doesn't certainly doesn't have to. It's really an all or nothing type of shot because you've got yourself out of position, but it gives you the option of going down the left, down the right, or down the center of the court. Very difficult to read. There's another different serve. That was long. No? Look long to me. I'm going to say long on that. Me too. Oh, nice get from Dave. I thought that ball was long off the back wall. We'll see if Dave Chapman can think to appeal that. Naughty Jr. nearly hitting that ball right back at Dave Chapman. Dave Chapman content to stay on the ground there. Naughty Jr. could have just shoveled that ball. It's so funny, it's, I actually, I call it long on the live webcast, but I, I don't, it don't man up enough to actually say it in person. Not sure what stopped you there. I don't know either. I, I do agree with Danny Bell, he's right on top of that back wall. I think he has the best angle on. I agree with him sticking with that call there. He had a much better view at that ball than we did. For those watching at home, Certainly, Dave, you and I have the best view of the short line. Yeah. Danny Bell is slightly obstructed, particularly down the right on that short line. He's 
overlooking the court along the right side wall. But he has a better view of that uh, long ball there, Absolutely. or that short uh, of the back wall. That's a nice serve. Dave doing what he did all day yesterday, just peppering that left wall. Great anticipation there from Nadi Jr. You see how he put himself right in the right spot there for that Dave Chapman back wall shot. Beautiful. Oh, wow, master. Big mistake there from Nadi Jr. taking that ball with his left hand, trying to kill it in the right corner. Actually mishit it just a, just a little bit, but still a, a low percentage shot even for the great LT Gray. Seven serves 11. Nadi actually on an 11-0 run if you're scoring at home or even if you're alone. Smart shot there from Dave. Wow, two in a row on that. Got the side out, now the point. Would you call that like a drop shot in tennis? It's just a tremendous, unbelievable shot. Eight serves 11. You haven't seen him go over to the right side to do that much this tournament, but he's been doing it over to the left. Dave Chapman's got a a very big bag of tricks. He's not going to use them all in the beginning of the first game. 